Hey guys, Lifestyle with Lisa here. Hope you all are doing okay today. Guys, I'm here to make a video for a lot of you all wanted me to show you what's inside of Sam's Club, the, the big holiday savings book. Um, this have already started from October 27th to November um, 24th. And also, I got the um, Target Circle Little Red book they have for the holiday I got that as well and I just wanted to show you this right here I'm always excited when I get um coupons from Bath and Body Works because that's one of my favorite stores even though um I only get body wash out of there and I love their hand soaps I like their candles too but for me the candles is for decoration I usually don't like them so I, I don't I'm not one of those people that go and stand in line every year for the candles or anything I really just love their hand soaps and body wash is my thing and um what i may do i don't know i haven't been i haven't really been there in a long time so i may treat me and my mom since i got coupons i may treat me and my mom to some hand soap and body wash so i just have to check it out and see first but anyway i'm gonna go through the um sam's club book first so you guys can see what's going on and then i go through the um target book for you guys so I may not do a lot of talking. I just want you guys to see what they have. And if you see anything, guys, that you may want to get, a lot of sales is going on now. Like Walmart, they have their four-day something like a, I guess it's something new they're doing this year, like a four-day Black Friday thing. If it's anything you're looking for, get it now. Especially if it's a good deal and you have the, the funds to get it, guys. So let's get into this um, Sam's Club holiday book. These cups is really good to have in your stockpile because if anything happened, you don't want to be stuck washing dishes, guys. Always have a big pack of these um, big cups, plastic cups, in your preps. I love Ritz crackers. This is my favorite pasta right there. Coffee lovers and people who like the sparkling water. My son loves the sparkling water. Vitamins, guys. You can't beat the huge, big things of vitamins that they have. $4 off, a limit six, guys. Vitamin C, vitamin D. Definitely vitamin C should be the first ones you guys pick up. This energy. I love this right here. And the airborne. I have some of that already. Essential items, personal items, all this stuff is real good. $8 off, $4 off, $3 off, $2 off. That's not bad. Laundry items. I wash everything in my apartment twice a month, every two weeks. I don't know about y'all, but I love this right here. My gain in the Unstoppable and Wash Scent Boosters. Dawn detergent. I love that they sell my favorite tissue, Quinton Northern, because I have tried many, many, many different ones over the years. And this is the only one that feels really good to my bun buns. I just hate that they do not sell the uh, purple pack. That's my favorite. They have garbage bags and they have the aluminum foil. I got aluminum foil. I got a couple of packs of aluminum foil in trash bags if you guys looking for um the power x 
like an air fryer or anything. They have like $30 off. Me and my son is looking for a blender. Don't forget your furry friends, guys, if you have um, pets, if you have dogs or cats. To me, I feel it's better to buy in bulk if you can. I'm not looking for any TVs, but they do have some good deals. They have nice carpet, real pretty in person. If you have little ones, I know a lot of people had babies last year and this year. Need car seats, it's on sale. I know a lot of the um, young men and women, some of them like the gaming. My son have this Nintendo Switch. He got it, had it for two years now. He love it. Guys, make sure you go and do maintenance on your cars, trucks, vans, whatever you have. Do your maintenance if you haven't already. Definitely important to do your maintenance on your car and get it checked out. Also, guys, if you haven't got extra quilts, comforters, and blankets, Definitely get them when you see them on sale. Or I know Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls have a lot of nice ones. Get extra. It's always ha um, good to have extras, comforters, quilts, blankets, etc. And I just found out a couple of months ago, um, Sam's Club and Costco's I think sell jewelry. I didn't even know that. And they have gift cards too, guys. I heard it was real good to get gift cards from there. I never got any, but I heard they have good, you know, selection of gift cards. I tell everybody, know me, gift cards, scratch off, or money. Been like that all my life. I don't, I like to pick my own things. I don't like to get clothes or shoes, definitely, because I like to pick them out and try them on myself. I don't like anyone guessing. And plus, my style is just different from a lot of people. So gift cards, scratch off of money, or gift baskets. I love the different gift baskets that they sell. see a lot of people um, get this for their kids every year seems like it's so much fun I never had one I never been on it got more TVs on sale guys $40 off $300 off 80 100 I'm not in a market for any TVs right now My dentist tell me about um, the different toothbrushes that they have. There are these right here. Oversized holiday venture um, calendar. That looks like that's fun. Two dollars off. They got Christmas trees. Thirty dollars off. More jewelry. $2 
two dollars off i know a lot of people i watch a lot of different grocery hauls a lot of families love the jimmy deans my son like it i brought some for him a couple of months ago he likes the jimmy dean products i don't care for it that much still a bob evans girl I don't like sourdough bread. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Do y'all like sourdough bread? I don't like it. I don't like the taste of it. If I had to eat sourdough bread, just throw my whole sandwich away. I don't want it. I just don't like it. It's something about the taste of it. Just, ugh, make me cringe. I love these crescent rolls, guys. You can do so much with crescent rolls. Love, love, love. And my mom, I remember, I remember my mom always buying cinnamon rolls. Or either she make them homemade. I'm not a big fan, but they're okay. But I love a good crescent rolls. It goes good with dinners, make breakfast sandwiches, or just with breakfast, period. I love Subway. Haven't been there in a while, but I love me at um, Subway. If I have to eat out, that's my first stop is always Subway. They got beautiful gift baskets, guys. I used to make gift baskets professionally. I'm thinking about getting back into it. I had a couple of people call me today and text me and ask me, was I making some this year? I don't know. It's November. Maybe I'll make a couple for the holiday, for um Christmas. Yeah, I used to make gift, gift baskets. My favorite was the Dove gift baskets with different um, Dove products and um, put extra stuff in there. That was a popular one, and another popular one I used to make is the hot chocolate and the coffee gift bags. That was popular. Pajama sets. Really cute pajama sets. Now, these are a big hits, guys. These are always nice at Sam's Club. For the men and women, they usually have these. Shirts, nice and warm. I'm not looking forward to the white stuff. I like looking at it, but I just don't like to be out in the white stuff. Slows you down. Everybody act like they don't know how to act or drive. And it's just a big mess. I just like to look outside my window and look at it and drink hot chocolate or tea, but I hate being out in it. It slows you down and it's just a mess. It, get, it gets real bad where I'm at. That's one of the reasons why I stock up, guys, because I don't like to be out in the white stuff. I'm saying white stuff because I'm trying not to jinx it because I'm hoping that it's hold off for a while before it comes here. Okay, guys, they got Pampers. Save $8 when you buy two and pull-ups in the night, um, good nights. They also have milk. I heard that this milk was pretty good. I never bought it before for my um, son or uh, myself, but I heard it was pretty good. It's a good, good brand, and it tastes good. And they got toys, a lot of toys. A lot of swing sets on sale, guys. Just anything over here you guys may need or want to get for someone, I suggest you to get it before it's gone. Okay, guys, everyone needs need this if you're baking or cooking. Get your condensed milk and get your chocolate chips. And don't forget your smell good. I don't know about y'all, even though my food smell good and light up my lit up my apartment. But um, when I get finished cooking, I always like to have a nice smell good. Some type of Febreze or Airwick or something like that to spray. And over here they saying over 108 instant savings. I think this is the last page, guys. Guys, they have a lot of the medicines and vitamins on sale. Take advantage of that stuff. $3 off this stuff right here. Limit is 4 which I thought that was pretty good. I still got microband from last year. I never used it. I'm a Lysol girl, but I just got it just in case. Okay, guys, this is the end of the um, book right here. Again, this is the um, Sam's Club, the Big Holiday Savings Book. Had that for about two weeks. This one right here, I only had a week, so let's see. I don't know why my hands are shaking. Hold on a minute. 
Okay, guys. Me and my son used to watch Harry Potter sometimes, and I love this Barbie doll. That's pretty. I don't have any small ones, and I only have one little small nephew. He's five years old. I might get my sister a gift card for him to get him something. A lot of this stuff is overpriced. My son used to love Hot Wheels. He was a big Hot Wheels fan. Oh my God. I used to get my stuff real early when I was shopping for him. I get mine a month or two ahead of time when I see it. Every time I catch some on sale or see something that was popular, he loved Hot Wheels and anything with Marvel action figures. And don't not forget the Legos. Oh my God. He, he's 19, but he still loved Legos. He have a Lego set over here right now. This is all his Lego stuff. He still comes and build. We just have it there for a minute, but it's going in his room because he was in the living room building. But he, he still loves Legos. That that's that's not it. He have more Legos. He's gonna be a Legos fan probably until the day he died. This kid. And he's the type of person that he only he, he only look at the instruction one time and he can build it. He's really good. And he used to love the Nerf guns, but I stopped getting the Nerf guns. I think when he was around 10 years old, so I just stopped getting it. They got gaming systems. My older nephew wanted a, um, one of those, what they call them guys, the Xbox or something like that. Couldn't find them last year. Guys, get your kids some books and I let them read. When I first had, when I first found out I was pregnant with my son, all for the first two years, for Christmas, even though his father, my ex fiance, thought I was nuts. Um. Well, the first time, you know, it's your first child. I overdid it. I spent three hundred dollars, but it was on all educational toys, guys. The first two to three years of his life, all his toys was educational. Yep, and he definitely had books. Every single thing for the first two to three years was all educational. It was fun, but it was all educational. That's what I focus on. And Leapfrog, I love Leapfrog products. Anything you can think of, it was all educational the first two to three years. And books. He loves these action figures right here when he was little. Oh, my God. I mean, we had all kinds of action figures for him because he, he just loves it. Now he's a he's, he's into Lego still, and he's still a big Mario fan. I don't think Mario would ever go out of style. I love Mario, too. Oh, wow. Look at that big old dinosaur, y'all. Wow. Some of this stuff would creep me out if I had a young kid now and you come across some of this stuff Pikachu I have a kid y'all so I still remember a lot of this stuff he used to love Pikachu too and we are a huge huge Transformer fan I've been a Transformer fan ever since I was a little kid Love me some Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. Hopefully they come out with a new um, movie soon. Got a lot of stuff in here. If you can find it, guys, at the store. If you can find it. This is Target. Remember, Walmart will always be cheaper, but I love Target stores. Let me know down in the comments. Do you have a kid or a grandkid or something that loves Legos, love Hot Wheels, Transformers, Pikachu? Another thing that my son used to love and I could not stand it. Oh, my God. I don't miss that one. Do your grandkids or your kids drive you crazy with the, um, I think it's still on TV. It's, it's um, SpongeBob. Oh, my God. 
I swear to God, that is the annoying little cartoon show ever. And I feel like my IQ will go down every time I watch it. My son always laughed at me because he knew it drive me nuts. Patrick. Only somebody that has some common sense is Sandy. Squidward was too depressing. I mean, it's just, it's, it was a weird little depressing, annoying show to me. But I watched it with him sometimes. I don't miss it. My nephew sometimes, he watch it, he's five. And Mr. Crab, he is greedy. You, you, you know, shows, I always turned everything into an educational moment with my son. And I told him, I said, that you can learn a lot. Squidward is very depressing. I don't like to be around depressing people. It has you, it have you depressed. Mr. Crab is a thief and just obsessed with money. Sandy always ready to fight, but I liked it the Sandy character, but she she was nice, but she just was always willing to fight if you pissed her off. And Squidward, I, I mean, um, Patrick, I swear to God, they made him one of the dumbest characters ever. Like, it, it just felt like it was dumbing the kids down. I don't know. I just felt like my IQ would drop. And I and and unfortunately, I mean to be honest with you, I was not the only parent that felt that way. <laughs> oh my God, it's just hilarious! It's just oh my goodness! And now they have SpongeBob movies. I'm like, God bless the parents now, because that character just drive me nuts. But Gunball, Gunball, I think I'm pronouncing it right. I love that show, Gunball. Oh, these are cute for the little girls. Just thought it was kind of cute. Oh, I don't know why my hand's shaking. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I think I'm going to change hands. Okay, my, my other hands probably got too tired. Look at this beautiful dollhouse. I had a dollhouse when I was real young. My mother got me a Barbie dollhouse. I have a Barbie, Ken, and I had the clothes, and I had the car. I was a Barbie and Ken fan, and I um, loved Cabbage Patch Kids. I had a, two Cabbage Patch dolls, and I used to love, um, I'm telling my age, but that's okay. And who remembered the strawberry shortcake? Me and my sister had a strawberry shortcake doll. We had the food. We had the house. I was living a dream, guys. Living a dream. Let your kids stay young as, as possible. Don't try to let them grow up so quick. Let them stay young and be a kid as long as possible. I really enjoyed my childhood. My mom did. She did a good job to make sure we just stayed a kid as long as possible. I used to love dress up. And who else, too, used to play with paper dolls? Bet you nobody don't remember that. We used to play with paper dolls, too. We cut the, cut, the, cut the paper dolls, cut, like, different characters and different stuff out the magazines and different stuff and out the paper and play with it. My brother loved G.I. Joe and Michael Jackson. That's what he was fascinated with, G.I. Joe and Michael Jackson. a lot of toys in here I used to love playing with me and my siblings sometimes we used to love playing with the play-doh making different things with the play-doh now it looks like they got the play-doh some type of kitchen play-doh then came a long ways I remember when we had to just ball up in our hands and make different stuff with it got a lot of different Legos I wouldn't be surprised if my son he probably won't look like none of this but he likes to go to the Lego store we have a big Lego store here he see anything with Mario or Transformers or anything he definitely want it Oh my God, who remember this, this little thing right here? Mm -mm -mm, it came a long ways. Okay. Fisher Price. Blue! 
Blue's Clues. We love Blue's Clues. The original Blue's Clues. It then got kind of weird in my opinion now. But since um when Steve left, it got weird. That's all I can say. But that's all I'm going to say. It then got weird. A little to me. But we used to love Blue's Clues. And I used to love watching it with him. My son used to love these characters too. Spider-Man and Friends, Incredible Hulk. See, here you go. I, th I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, Leapfrog. Trust me. Get your kids some educational toys. It will help them in the future. I would like to say by me, the first two or three years got my son a lot of educational toys. That's what made him be good in school and he was on honor roll the whole time. So, The first two, three years of their life is very important. Don't get all this garbage. Make sure you slide them a few, more than a few educational toys and read to them and have them read to you. Oh my God, my son used to love stuff like this. Now my nephew, he loves, um, Auntie Baby loves, um, what they call these guys is the paw control. Oh yeah, he loved paw control. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness, this one right here, paw control, two in one ball, some type of bouncy thing. They is crazy. They want $75 for that? Uh-uh. And this right here is cute. Something he can lay on. Aw. He loves paw control. Little cute little characters, little dogs helping people. My sister got his whole room set up like it's paw control, everything in there. And it's so nice, neat, and clean. Paw control, paw control. <laughs> scooters I never liked the scooters guys I was always scared that I would fall and I never liked the skates either I was only one time and failed and that was it I didn't like my legs and knees and stuff to be all scarred up mm -mm. I was mostly a girly girl I just I, I, I tried one time and then I was I, it was over I didn't want to be keep falling and hurting myself scarring myself up This is what I want. I had one of these right here. I love this. When I go out walking, cleaning up the house, cooking, or um, doing laundry, I put on my little beats. I like the ones right here that go behind your ear because it's very convenient. It don't slide off, and it's real comfortable. And I don't mind. I had mine for two years, and all of a sudden, it, I don't know. It just started coming apart, but I think this is kind of, this is real pricey. I saw it cheaper last year, but yeah, I would love some of those right there. I want a new, I want a camera, so I won't have to keep on using my phone. I want a camera and a tripod. I'm probably going to get me a tripod if I can catch one on sale for Cyber Monday or Black Friday, but I really want one of these and I want a camera. My son got one of these. He had his for two years. Now he got this one right here. He loves it. These games are always been priced ridiculous. And then do you see how small they are, the games? When you take them out the box, how tiny the games are. And look, you paying 60, 70, 80. It's just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's it for the book. I did it for you guys that wanted to see. And you had a little extra treat and bonus with the because some of y'all should already got your Target um, books. But if not, hopefully you enjoyed the preview of both of them. And look out for your Bath & Body um, coupons. Because my mom probably going to have some come through mail. So what I do, I take hers and mine and combine them. And I just probably going to go get me and her 
pick out me and her some some bath um some body wash is what we like and get us some um hand soaps and i may pick up one or two candles but my candles i usually use mine for decoration i don't really light them like that so but yeah guys i'm gonna get off here i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a thumbs up it don't cost you anything like comment and subscribe and let me know what are you guys looking for this holiday season are you buying anything are you just focused on your preps or you know have you started are you done because most people are done shopping already to be honest with you so okay guys i see you in the next video take care